Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. You guys know I love hanging out with you. It's my hope that you also love hanging out here with me um, and you enjoy your time here. And hopefully you can also hear a message or two that can help you in your real life off of the internet, friends. Um, I'm excited about today's reading. Today we are going to be um, covering a topic that I haven't done in a really, really long time. We're going to be looking into why are things not moving forward right now? Why are you feeling blocked? This is for those of you that feel like maybe you're stuck in a situation, in a relationship, in a job, or, um, you know, just kind of seeking what's next. Um, maybe you want more joy, more, more fulfillment, more abundance, whatever it is you need and however you're feeling blocked. We are going to be looking into that for you today. We are going to be asking the question, how are you feeling blocked? That'll help you kind of connect to a group and, you know, see and feel it out if that message sounds like it's for you. And then we're going to be looking into um, why are things blocked right now and why are they not moving forward? And we will be asking the question, what's to come? So basically getting as much information for you as we can to help you see through this and hopefully give you something to look forward to or things to think about, maybe new ideas, whatever it is. I want clarity for you guys when it comes to this reading. Um, as always, friends, we have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into um, why are you feeling blocked? Why are things not moving forward for you right now? Maybe you feel like things have kind of come um, to kind of a stalemate situation. Now, this could be relating to anything in your life. It could be um, a relationship, a situation, um, a job thing, uh, whatever it is, right? Um, however you feel like nothing is happening. Maybe you feel like in all areas, nothing's really progressing. So we're going to be looking into why that is or what is happening and what's to come. Um, so as always, it's important for you to use your discernment, um, with this and any other reading, but we are going to be asking the question, how are you feeling blocked? And that'll kind of help you, you know, either connect to the group or if that part doesn't resonate, then you'll, you know, um, then maybe this isn't your, your group or your story. Same as if anything that I say triggers you, or if it's not matching, you guys know that. All right, my group number ones, thank you for joining me. Let's get to it. Today, I want you guys um, to walk away with clarity on your situation or maybe just feeling, you know, maybe just feeling like you just needed someone to hold space for you. And, and that's why we're here. So um, yeah, messages for you, my group number ones, messages that can help you through this. All right, thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. How are my group number ones feeling blocked? What's currently going on in their life and how are they feeling blocked? How will they know if this is their message? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number ones, please. How are they feeling blocked? What's going on in their life? Messages from my group number ones. How will they know that this is their reading? How are they feeling blocked? Messages for my group number ones. All right, we have the Four of Cups. Some of you guys could just be bored with how things are. There's just been such slow progress. It's like, it's been slow, but it's been steady. I think you guys are just bored. And there's a lot that maybe you like think about or reminisce about or wonder about with that moon it tells me it's like there's so many unknowns we have the queen of cups we have the ten of pentacles we have the fool so some of you are just wondering like some of you are working towards things goals in your life that you want for the long term and maybe you're wondering like is am i heading in the right direction is this ever going to happen 
what it, it's almost like you see the end result or you see what you want, but there's a lot of fear or there is a lot of like where you're at from where that is. Maybe to you, it feels like it's very far removed to me in the energy. It feels like you're heading in that direction. Now, some of you might even have like, I don't know, I mean, this could definitely be you looking for love or you, you wanting fulfillment um, in your life. With that Ten of Pentacles, it tells me like you want to love what you do, right? All aspects of it, family, uh, friends, your career. Let's see what that fool is in a second. So you guys could feel like I'm done manifesting. I am so tired. I'm so tired of listening to these tarot readings probably, right? Telling me that good things are coming or that this or that that. Um, Because it feels, yes, there's a sense here of I'm kind of bored. Um, I'm kind of bored with this. I'm ready for some kind of action, but things have been moving very slowly. All right. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Messages for, yeah, I was picking up on love. Um, for a lot of you, this is about finding your partner, your long-term person, or getting from the point that you're at now to this point. If it's someone that you're already involved with or that's already in your life, I wouldn't be surprised because this Knight of Pentacles tells me you've been taking your time or things have been moving very slowly, or maybe it's just been, um, you know, bad experiences or, or relationships that didn't end up working out. So there's a lot of fears here for some of you. It is about a specific person. Um, so I'm going to talk about it two ways. I'm going to talk about it for those of you that it's a specific person or yeah, <laughs> a person. Um, and for others of you that this is maybe fears that are coming up about you and your own kind of capabilities. So for those of you that this is about a relationship and about a person, it's like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fears here coming up when it comes to relationships or this relationship in general, it's going to depend on you guys and what's going on with you. Um, if it's a specific person, this person is triggering a lot of fear. There's fear here of, um, you know, maybe they're a runner or they don't, um, they're never going to be ready for the, com for a commitment. Or if it's a type, it's like the type you're attracted to. And there's something very subconscious about it that maybe you haven't really tapped into as to why you keep kind of, um, if it's dating different people, it might be like the same version in a different person or similarities, right? Um, you know, it's like sometimes we like what we like and it has an edge to it and that could be part of the thing, it, you know? It's like, um, yeah, it's like liking the bad boys or something like that. Now, for others of you, I said I was going to talk about it. If this is you, it might be that you feel you are heading, you're, you're, you might be second guessing the direction you're heading in, um, especially if it has to do with like career, your long-term plans. There is something here about long-term goals, but there's a lot of doubt in between how things are moving now and questioning if we're in alignment, questioning if this is for us. And that could be true if it's a person or if it's, you know, the direction you're heading in. It's like wherever your heart lies, it feels like, um, you know, that moon energy, it, you guys, um, yeah, it's definitely triggering you. And it's almost like making you like deep dive for some of you, you guys could have had like, um, an awakening, you know, a little soul, soul shakeup <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> It's so dramatic to call it the dark night of the soul, but good God, if you've been there, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know that it's actually not a dramatic term, um, but maybe some of you, this person triggered you into that, um, triggered you into some kind of healing when it came to relationships. Now, I do see that whatever that was, things are moving too slow for you right now. Um, so some of you guys could feel like you can't move on. You, your heart is somewhere, you left it somewhere, or someone came in and took it, or, um, or you have a lot of love to give, but you just, you, 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 there's either no one to give it to, or no one's made a move, or you're kind of unsure what to do. Again, it's like questioning the path, questioning, am I doing the right thing? Have I been believing the right things? Um, 
Can I trust myself? Now you guys are going through a big, like, I'm going to say, um, so far I see emotional kind of glow up to some degree. Now, even if you don't feel like this now on the other side of this, when this energy finally shifts, when things finally change, when they come to an end and you can finally feel yourself stepping into these next chapters and starting new things. Cause I know that there's new things coming for you. There is new beginnings coming. Um, you're going to have some kind of emotional maturity. You guys are having a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety over that 10 of pentacles, whether that's your career or your family or uh, a long-term commitment or wanting a long-term relationship. There's anxieties here. And I, you guys want a new beginning, but there's a sense here of being unsure about it. Something's coming in about your sleep. So make sure that you guys are resting. You guys might be kind of doing something that keeps you going back and forth, or it's not very, it's not like the best for either your mental health or it tires you out. So it might be, it might be the sleep thing. Maybe some of you kind of stay up really late. Maybe you guys are like, there's a lot of uncertainty over what kind of new beginning you want. It's almost like I want change now, but what would that be? Some of you guys could be like praying for an unexpected, just change, an unexpected change in the circumstances that either brings you into union with someone or into harmony with your situ with your current situation, or it aligns you with what is for you. It's almost like we're praying that that's going to, it's just going to drop out of the sky. And hopefully it does, huh? All right. There is energy and movement. I do see that. We have heavy Pisces energy coming through, Aries as well. All right, air signs, water signs, fire signs, all the signs. Okay, my group number ones. Well, if that sounds like you, let's let's ask. Why are things blocked right now? What do you need to know about that? Why why are things not progressing right now? And what do you need to know about that? Thank you, Spirit. What can we know, please? Messages for my group number one. Why are things not progressing right now? What does my group number ones need to know about that? Thank you, spirit. Why is this situation or why are things not progressing right now? What does my group number ones need to know about why they're feeling blocked? What do they need to know about what's currently going on? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Messages for my group number ones, please. So you guys, a lot of you are heartbroken over, um, it's either love or things that didn't move forward or didn't go anywhere. Or right now, again, it's that triggering you guys, you're in that moon energy. Like I, I do think that some of you are going through a little, we'll call it a little soul shakeup. Um, because this stuff is, is bubbling to the surface. Remember that I, I said, it's like on the other side of this, you're going to have like emotional maturity. It's like, you're going to have a deeper understanding. Maybe your, your perspective is also going to shift and you're going to realize like, oh, that actually wasn't as long as I thought it was. Or it's like when you're in it, it just feels so much longer and so much worse than on the other side of it. Um, and not saying, you know, not, not minimizing, but there's a lot of disappointment here that's going on. And it's like, if you guys are dealing with someone, this person's disappointed you. And this person's also very stubborn and holding on to something. Or maybe you're holding on to this person or this situation. And that's you and the four of pentacles. But there's a lot of disappointment and heartbreak surrounding that emperor in reverse. This feels like it was a disappointment. That knight of cups feels like it's an offer that didn't come in or king of cups someone here is so the reason why things are blocked is because someone is holding on to a heartbreak or a breakup or a disappointment or a time where they feel they failed from the past and that's keeping them from opening their heart to what's next or to look forward 
see how this king is looking that way and then these two are looking that way the horses are are they have their heels dug in like this emperor does heels dug in heels dug in yeah interesting they've never showed me that before I have the knight of cups in reverse why are things feeling blocked what does my group number ones need to know it's time so how you invest your time is right now is very important they want you to focus on your okay I am not a medical professional. I'm not any kind of professional. I'm a little lady on the internet that you found that reads that her little cards tell her stories too. So for entertainment purposes only. Um, but some of you, this is a great time for you to focus on your physical health, on your, what is that like health, wealth, and something else, my loves. It, it's like, this is a good time for you to even um, focus on aesthetics if you're into that uh, you know focus on things that are going to make you feel really good if you're an artist now is a really good time for you to pour and channel all of this emotion all of this stuck energy and let it come out through your chosen medium um if you're someone who you know your job or your um, social media presence or something like that say that you're someone who's like a public figure a public face now is a really good time for you to like have fun with your look now is a really good time for you to have fun with um, the type of content you're posting or the type of pictures you're posting this is going to be actually very healing to you during this time now if you're like well i'm not into any of that there is something here about you letting this energy run through you and using it as something that benefits you and it like recharges you so for some of you this is exercise for some of you this is like i said creative for maybe some of you guys are singers or you're writers if however you express yourself now is a really good time for that um that's going to help also kind of like pass the time making the most um it's also going to help you heal now whether you're the one that's in this stuck energy holding this back this is for a lot of this is for those of you i feel like that this is relating to um love or someone that you're um that you're interested in um it feels like this person is holding on to something that happened in the past or being heartbroken and they're saying no to opening up or it's very hard for them this is also someone who um, fears vulnerability because that three of swords it has happened but this is also someone who is still very much aware of your presence or your energy and they're very much attracted um to you i am gonna add a delulu checkpoint bitches it had been a while and i had just been thinking about it so if you're new here and you've never heard delulu checkpoint this is where i like to tap to bring us back to earth and ground us um, so that we can ask ourselves does this match up with my story or do i just really want it to and it's usually when i mention if other people are um, feeling strongly about you in some kind of way. So I just wanna throw that out there for those of you that don't know. So I'm Delulu checkpointing because for some of you, this just feels like this person, you might be waiting for them to open their heart to you or something, it's very hard for them. But I will say that I am feeling like there is love here. I would say they could, you know, I would say for some of you, yes, they are in love with you or they, are drawn to you in a way that maybe that's how they kind of realize that they feel, but they're very closed off. Very, very closed off. I have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Fire signs as well, especially Aries. So someone here carries a very heavy burden and they're very disappointed um, over something that happened or where they're currently at they might have a lot on their plate this could be you this could be them and someone has been unable definitely look at all these people walking the wrong way they're they're staying stuck in this eight of cups in reverse they're not moving forward they're just holding on to this burden And it's going to take them releasing that moon in reverse. But they're avoiding the work. 
And so they channel it through inconsistency. If this is you, it's like you might be doom scrolling. You know, that King of Cups. Some uh, For some, it could be like drinking, doesn't have to be, but it is very watery energy. So someone could be just holding on to like an old habit and they're just very afraid to open their heart. If it's another person, maybe the times they have opened their heart, maybe they have been like under the influence. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you. And it feels like someone here needs to kind of reveal their emotions or, or get back in touch with their feelings. And it's very hard for them. And it's easier to just stay closed off. So there is something that's changing in your circumstances, regardless of whether you feel things are moving forward right now or not. This is meant to bring more balance. This is meant to change the circumstances in your favor. And I know that this might feel like you're at a standstill, but especially if you're dealing with another person, someone here has been avoiding the work or ignoring things for too long. Even if this, like, this could even be you as well, that you were kind of ignoring things about the situation or this person. It's like we've been turning a blind eye and the longer we do that, the more we feel the burden of that look and the more anxiety. Someone's going to have to surrender. That's all they can do and release this um, conflict, even if it's internal conflict that they have. Someone could also be very anxious or, yeah, anxious about... Hmm, something that's going on between you two, if this is a person. But they can't open up and like be vulnerable and kind of like be open about it. It's very hard for this person to be open. Someone here is very much in their ego and it causes a lot of indecision. And someone is very um, conflicted about does it do, am I even heading in again, am I heading in the right direction? Um, if it's a person, am I going to reconcile? Or if it's something you're, you know, a goal you're working towards or trying to work through something, you're like, am I ever going to feel better? But someone here has to sit very uncomfortably until they surrender. Even if it's you and someone else, it's like, there's also a part of this that's talking about you as well, needing to surrender. Because, uh, yeah, this energy over here, it's very resistant to do that. It's very resistant to let go. Someone here doesn't want to feel out of control, but they're also kind of not trying to feel their emotions at the same time. And that's blocking things. All right. My group number one is very interesting. Let's see what's to come. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's to come? What's to come for them in this situation? Thank you, Spirit. What, what can we know at this moment in time for my group number ones? What's to come? What can they know at this point in time? What's to come in this situation? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. What's to come? Oh. Letting go? Look at that. Someone finally admitting or someone being real and being honest about how they feel. And that leads to an, oh man, the pressure. Someone like it literally, I almost hear the sound of a pressure cooker, like um, when they turn the valve and that's what it feels. That's what it's going to feel like someone here. When they give in and take a leap of faith, that's what's going to bring you into alignment with this person or with the relationship or with the perfect job, or the people that you need in your life. Some of you guys are wanting like um, new soul family, or like not new soul family, but it's like calling them in. Some of you are looking for new collaborators in some way. But for those of you, especially that it's about a romantic relationship, it's like now, now we can start. Now we can be honest. Now someone admitted that they've been heartbroken and it's been hard for them to open up, you know? Very interesting. That's what's blocking it is a denial of feelings and emotions and processing. 
look at letting go of this anxiety that was totally present at the beginning of your reading. Someone here has to surrender and stop putting energy or stop, um, like someone here may have been putting their energy and effort into something that wasn't working. It wasn't, it's like, that's what needed to be released. So it's like, maybe someone here has pulled away their effort from something that was keeping them in that four of pentacles. Why the seven of swords in reverse? We have the ace of pentacles. So an opportunity. Someone takes the jump or takes the leap. And stops looking back and questioning and yeah. Someone here also has to kind of be honest, even if it's just be honest with themselves about why, why they couldn't before or what wasn't working, why we weren't trusting or why we weren't ready for the opportunity. There's a lot of wisdom that, that, um, comes with this. A lot of like learning about yourself or about situation. I don't know. I feel like there's definitely growth for you. And look at this is all like beautiful new beginnings for you guys. You guys, this could even be like a, if you want my future, forget my past. I literally just started hearing um, Spice Girls when I saw that Five of Swords in reverse with the Fool. We have the Knight of Swords. So we have um, coming together with someone or with people. Um, and this is a very kind of comfortable union or it's a comfortable environment. We're all on the same page. We see eye to eye. We feel connected. We feel bonded. Um, we feel this, um, this feeling of like togetherness. So if that's a relationship, it feels like you guys are coming together and things are moving forward. It's like this is when things take off but it does require a lot of surrender and the timing is not, um, it's not on you. Then we have the page of pentacles with the eight of swords in reverse. And we have the nine of cups in reverse. So getting out of your head about things, not working out the way that you want them to, or need them to, there's almost a fear here of letting go of what you thought you wanted because now what you have, it's like, Maybe this is when you're realizing that you couldn't have gotten to this point unless you, you went through this or you and this person went through this period of time that you're currently in. Because I feel like now you're getting to know each other better or you're in also investing in things that you're learning. And for those of you that this is about work, it's like bringing in more money. There's a lot of also like for those of you that are like comparing yourselves to other people's situations, like you don't want what they have. You don't. You might think you do, but you if you it's not for you. It's like everyone's on their own journey and their own path. So it is you are in a period of time where, you know, you might be feeling a little like you're on the bench, you're benched for now. Um, but it's momentary. All right. They are asking you, you know, what are you going to do with this time? Again, going back to yourself, do things that make you feel real good. All right. Physically, mentally, spiritually, all of the leaves. <laughs> Look at some Oracle cards for you guys. My group number one. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number ones, please. What else do they need to know about this moment in time that they're feeling like nothing is moving forward? Oh, it's triggering you. This is a disruption. Oh, so um, what is that? Rejection is protection. So anything that hasn't happened, you're being protected from. There could have been unforeseen things that came up that threw you off and it triggered your fears. But now's a good time to tune into your intuition. That could also be... Um, that's part of that message when we were talking about you guys channeling your energy into either your craft or physically or something like that. Um, I just got these new little affirmation cards. I thought they were pretty cute. They're called me plus me. Um, here's the little box. I got them at um, shop, be nice, have fun in Highland Park. And it's a tiny little deck, but I thought it'd be cute for us today. All right, a message for my group number ones from themselves. 
All right. You guys got, we'll do two of them. Well, no, we'll do three. That one seems important. <laughs> All right. We have self-care. Oh my gosh. Look what's on it. You guys, that's hilarious. Self-care. Number three, affirmation. I need to recover before I continue giving my energy to others. Reminder, it doesn't have to be the weekend for me to relax. Practice, close your eyes and listen to your thoughts. Listen to your breath, take it in. If everything becomes too loud, it's time to relax. Take a long shower, listen to your favorite album and eat your tastiest snack. Oh, that might've been written by a Taurus. <laughs> you guys, this is hilarious. <laughs> All right, we have check in. Oh, it's a lip phone. Oh, if you guys know, if you know, you know. Number two, affirmation. It's okay to slow down and make sure I am okay. Reminder, I need to listen to my body and take note of how it reacts to stress. Practice, are you taking on too much at the moment? Set boundaries. Remember, working nonstop is not above your mental health. Working nonstop is not above your mental health. Yeah, that's true. Burnout, friends. All right, and then we have your last one is number 24, um, which is love. And it says, affirmation, I am worthy of love. Reminder, I can accept others' love while trying to accept my own love. Practice, I love you. Say it to yourself. Say it to your friend, pet, or partner. You and those around you need to hear these words today. Well, let me tell you guys, I tell my pet turtle that I love her every day. So I'm definitely down for telling your pets you love them. <laughs> my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading, reading, but more than anything, friends, I hope that it was helpful. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. <laughs> if you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading. At this point, I just have to laugh because I've been trying to do your intro for uh, more than a couple times, friends. So um, maybe this is kind of already tapping into your energy. The topic of today's reading is why are things not moving forward right now? Um, this is for those of you that are feeling stuck in a situation or on a person, um, on a, in a job, in your career. Maybe you're just trying to figure out like, when is this going to change? What is next? Maybe you feel like you're trying different things, um, trying different avenues and things just still aren't feeling like they're lining up for you. So we do want you to walk away with clarity from this reading. I also want you to kind of um, gain some confirmation and validation as to things that you kind of already have a feeling about or that you already know about your situation. We are going to begin by asking the question, how are you feeling blocked? And this will help you connect to the reading and see if this is indeed your group and your story. And then we're going to be moving into why are things currently blocked and not moving forward and what you need to know about that. And then we will be um, asking what's to come. So hopefully we can, um, you know, shine a little light at the end of the tunnel for you. Um, and if anything, I hope you just feel like, you know, you feel held in this space, friends. Um, I'm, I send you guys so much love. I, I know that the collective is struggling in ways right now that we can all relate to. So. Let's dive in. My group number two is my little antisocial gremlins. I feel you. Um, I consider myself an antisocial tarot troll at times. Let's face it. I live under my tarot bridge <laughs> and come out to visit you people. <laughs> All right, my group number twos, let's get with it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please. How are my group number twos currently feeling blocked? What is it that is not moving forward for them at this moment in time? What can you tell us? What is going on with my group number twos? And how are they currently feeling blocked? Messages from my group number twos, please. How are they currently feeling blocked? What's going on with them? How are they feeling blocked? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos, please. I'm seeing the eight of wands in reverse. For some of you, it could be blocked communication or blocked from moving like moving actual like locations perhaps thank you spirit messages for my group number twos please how are they currently feeling blocked what's going on with them what's going on it's a time of slumber my friends what is that old song there's an old song that just started playing in my head when i said it's a time of slumber 
It's the, it's the time for something. It's the time for something. <laughs> Guys, listen. Or if that comes back up, I'll I'll have to pause it and and look it up. It's like an old song. I think it's like a '60s or a '70s song. All right. So you're taking a break, either from dating or from friends, or you're just maybe right now you're kind of struggling and you feel like you know what I just kind of rather be alone while I work on myself or while I kind of figure this out. Because a part of you feels more relief with this break, but a part of you is also kind of like struggling to remain hopeful. Yeah, there's that eight of wands in reverse. I knew it. So for some of you, this is having to do with a blocked um, person or a blocked communication. A blocked communication. What the fuck? I don't know. Something not moving forward with other people. We have Aquarius and fire signs coming through. There's that queen of wands. Why the Four of Swords? How is my group number two is currently feeling blocked? So you're healing and you know that this break was necessary. There's like nowhere else to go. And even though you know that this is necessary or you know that this was what was best in this situation, I do feel like this Three of Wands in reverse to start in reverse. Now it's like we lost hope. We were waiting for something and now we're just kind of doubting that it's going to happen or we're we're uh, starting to see that nothing's really moving forward. I do feel like you're struggling to kind of maintain positive about this. Yeah, you guys aren't talking or you're not communicating with someone. Maybe you guys are even, oh, some of you guys are even taking a social media break. Good for you. Um, yeah, if that's the case, we all need to go ghost sometimes for our own mental, you know, uh, mental health or emotional, all of the things, right? We live in a very loud online world, you know, and when we spend too much time submerged in it, sometimes we do benefit from a break. And maybe that's what you guys are doing. Why the three of cups in reverse? Why the eight of wands in reverse? Why the queen of wands? So if it's not about you guys, if it's not about communication with someone, this could be about reaching some kind of milestone for yourself, whether that's a job or working your, or, um, like working your way up in your career or working towards some, some kind of event worth celebrating, which makes me think of a milestone and you feel blocked. Some of you are maybe feeling down over a milestone birthday, or you're kind of feeling down over something that should have, should have the little human ego pressures that we put on ourselves. And I say that with love bitches, because guess what? I'm human with you guys. And we all do this. We, we do it to ourselves, right? And sometimes, um, our ego steps in and makes things kind of worse in moments that are already not feeling good. Cause maybe that's when it steps in and tells us, you know, what should have happened or, you know, all, all of this stuff. And I'm just saying some of you guys could be kind of feeling that way or thinking that way at times. I do feel like you guys have put in a lot of effort into yourselves your passions, what you're into, but you're just tired, babe. It's like been a lot and you've had to throw in the towel and you know that. So it's like whatever, like I said, whatever this break has been or whatever you're kind of stepping back from, whatever you're blocking, it feels like you know that that's what's best for now. It's like, you know, something about this dynamic, this relationship, these people, you know, these things in your life, there is no denying it or no ignoring it. And I feel like you had to choose your own piece, but now there's a level of, I can't tell if it's frustration, but there is like wonder. Cause now it's like, well, now what, what else please? How does my group number two feel blocked? How are they feeling blocked? Thank you. How are my group number twos feeling blocked? What else can you tell us? You're avoiding drama. You know, like, 
a part of you knows that it's like not done yet or there's still some things to sort out. But for now, you're just I feel like you guys are just focused on yourselves, focused on what you have going on, which is the best thing you could be doing until further notice. Right. You guys maybe are looking forward to healing. You're looking forward to a new beginning when things get better. And now you're wondering, OK, when is it better? When does it get better? So this group doesn't make me really feel like you guys are unaware over why things are feeling the way they are. It actually seems that you may have had a hand in that and you have an understanding of why. And hopefully this is just confirmation of that for you. Why this nine of pentacles in reverse with the page of swords in reverse? Some of you guys could be um, interesting. Some of you guys could be tapping back into like things that you were into when you were younger. This could be like listening to nostalgic music from when you were a certain at a certain stage of your life. I was going to say younger, but everyone's in a different age and stage in their life. Um, but maybe you're reverting back to music from the past that kind of brings you back to a certain time. I do feel you guys are engaging in other things offline and reconnecting back to yourselves. All right. Some of you may also be fully aware of the fact that something that you thought you wanted um, wasn't right for you or yeah, there's something about it that wasn't, wasn't right or it wasn't good for you messages for my group number twos. All right, now let's move into why are things blocked? Why are they not moving forward? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What can we know about why things aren't moving forward and why things are currently blocked? Thank you, Spirit. What do my group number twos need to know about why things aren't moving forward and why things feel blocked? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know? about why things are moving forward. What do they need to know about why things feel blocked right now? What do they need to know? Why are things blocked right now? What do they need to know about that? Why are they not moving forward? All right, we have the Four of Swords in reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So you have love here, or there is love here, but there is no like commitment to a new beginning. Or someone hasn't reached this level of feeling stable enough, whether that's financially or ready to commit or ready to come in and dedicate themselves. It's like even though they want it, even though that might be the goal, it's there's something here about they're not ready or it's not time yet. Someone here is being very like um, head over heart, but also, also like I can't tell if it's like strategic. It might be. Someone here might be coming up with ideas to make something happen. Why the two of pentacles? Someone could also be, that could be what's blocking it, is that someone's mind over heart and they're very analytical and very practical. And so things may not make sense right now. Why the two of pentacles in reverse? Why are things blocked right now? Why are they not moving forward? Yeah. Why the king of cups? Someone here is very conflicted about their feelings. That's also why your, your, your situation is blocked. I'm going to go over it in a couple of different ways, if it's regarding work or if it's regarding a person that you're dealing with or a, a relationship. Why the full in reverse? So indecision. Okay, so someone here, um, let's talk about it if it's career. So if it's career, it's like someone's really trying to strategize, like, what's the smartest thing to do? What, what should I do? I love what I'm doing here, but it's not making me enough or this, this company isn't it, or this boss isn't it, like whatever the issue is, there's something here that you're not happy with. And it's almost like you're debating breaking free. You're debating maybe 
going off on your own or maybe taking a position that might be a little bit lower, but you have more potential for more growth. Like it's like, that's the kind of strategizing that might be happening, but you're not ready to do that yet. Like maybe you don't feel like you're, you're um, equipped enough or ready enough, or like, you know, you have the clearest idea of, of your plan. Now, um, if that is the case, I do see that the option is go with something that gets you in a better situation, but you're still not getting exactly what you want out of it. It's still not like there's a big but attached to it, right? Um, there are some plus sides. The fact that you are single, you're independent, you're working hard. Um, you know, like I said, you might be making a little less money, but maybe you feel a little more stable. But there's indecision on your part as to if that's something you actually want to do. So it kind of seems like that's part of what's blocking you. Now, if this is in regards to a person that you're dealing with, this person is very conflicted. They, are, they think about it all the time. Let me put it that way. They are fighting, literally fighting between their head and their heart. And it's like, there's a big block here in this connection or in this situation between you guys. And their head wants to come back together. Um, they they want to have some kind of reunion or reconnect or because it feels like there's some kind of, you're in that four of swords. It's like you're you're taking a break. And it's like, even though they think about it, they feel blocked and they're, they're being torn between their heart. Like this is someone that's thinking, that's used to thinking very logically. So if you, if they feel like you blocked communication with them, even though their heart is telling them like, pursue this or, or do this, or you know what you have to do. It's like their head is telling them, their head might be telling them something else. Like, no, you can't, or um, that doesn't make sense. There's an internal dialogue and battle going on here. Now, there's a, there's a wanting to reconnect. There's a wanting a reunion. There's a wanting to fix this. There's a wanting of, I feel lonely. I feel left out. I feel left out in the cold, but we're still not getting what we want. And so if this is another person, you guys could both be kind of mirroring that sentiment, but you, you could have, you're the one, or it feels like maybe you're the one that kind of is taking the break. And maybe you're just waiting to see if this person does anything, if they turn it around and they're in a place of, they don't know what to do. They're in the five of swords. They're thinking way more than they are taking action. They're also torn by like wanting their independence or working on some financial goal. They could be feeling like they don't have enough. If this is a person, they are feeling that they aren't in a financial, in a stable enough place or in a place where they can kind of give this what they want to. And maybe that's that wish that's not fulfilled. It's like, we'll come together or we are coming back together. But at the same time, it's not exactly how I want it to be. So again, it goes back to the overthinking. Now, two of pentacles makes sense. It's, this is what we're doing in the reading, the up and down, the up and down, right? It's like, I could do this, but then that, but then this, and then I can do that. It's, you know, it goes back and forth. So that's what's keeping a new beginning is someone here is still going back and forth. Do I follow my heart? Do I follow what makes sense? And they're just not, they're staying in place right now. Whoever this is not ready to take charge yet. Um, if this is another person that you're dealing with, and this isn't talking about you, um, they might be a little stubborn or it's very hard for them to kind of let go of control or step in and take control. This could be a self-sabotaging behavior. And this person, like, they could run the risk of, like, missing out on opportunities, including with you, is what I'm getting. And maybe you know that, and that's why you kind of did what you had to do. Anything else, please? Why are things blocked and not moving forward for my group number twos? What do they need to know about that? Why are things blocked and not moving forward? Messages for my group number two, please. All right. 
Oh my gosh, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the moon. So there's definitely hidden emotions here. There's also a, a an incoming slow offer. And there's a lot of uh, fear around it. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of things that someone's afraid to explore and it's easier to just give in. Now, this could be talking about, yeah, this could be talking about this person and they're, that they're slow moving. Especially, you know, we're talking about if this is someone that you're interested in, if this is a love connection. It's like there is emotion here, but it's, it's a slow fucking burn, guys. It's a slow burn. This person's very slow, very hesitant. They have other things that they're prioritizing right now, especially if it has to do with their money or their stability. And there's a lot of fear here over coming forward or of uh, closing out old chapters and beginning new ones. It's, it's all this unknown that's here. Now, if this is not romantic, this is, um, and this is about work, I, this is showing me you entering a new era where you're reaching milestones. You're, it's either a promotion or, you know, it's all this stuff, but it's coming in slower than you would have liked. And it does trigger a lot of fear because it, it, there's a lot of like second guessing that happens along the way. Of course, right? How can there not be? If you're like, shit, I literally have done everything I can. Have I, you know, is this going to happen for me? All right. So let's see what's to come in your situation, my group number two. What is to come after this feeling of feeling stuck for so long or of taking a break? What's to come for you and what do you need to know about that? Thank you, Spirit. What does my group number twos need to know? What do they need to know about what's to come? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know? What do they need to know about what's to come? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know about what's to come in their situation? When things start flowing again, what do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit, about what's to come in this situation. What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So we have... Um, You're no longer like anxious or like as concerned about this. And there is a feeling here, these two sixes. Hold on before I say more. You're thinking, you're thinking back. I don't know. You guys could be re reconnecting with someone. Like it's hard to, for some of you, it's hard to say no, but hold on. <laughs> don't leave me yet. <laughs> What's to come for my group number two, please? What's to come? You're realizing something about these people or about this person. You miss them or I don't, you're realizing something in the situation. We're going to see what that is. That six of cups, so it tells me that there's like reminiscing. Why the nine of swords? Why the Six of Swords in reverse? There, there's a revisiting this situation in order to heal it. There, Yeah, there's a revisiting it. I can't tell. I'm not going to say. If it's about a person, it's almost like we're reconnecting or we're coming to some kind of terms about the situation. That you're seeing things clearly for like what they are. Now, I can't tell if you're going to be reconnecting or reconciling. I don't see that yet. I do see that Six of Swords and that Six of Cups. You're revisiting something, and it is healing. You're letting go some of that disappointment from the past or some of that heartbreak. Why the Six of Cups? What's to come for my group number twos, please? What's to come for my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. Why the Six of Cups? Why the Strength card in reverse? Why the Ace of Swords? What's to come? It's like you're realizing that something here, that as much as you miss someone or as much as you kind of reminisce of the past, you also start to realize like things that, that didn't change or like why they're not working out. 
it, or maybe it's even like friends or people in your life. It's like you're gaining this clarity on people or on things. Maybe it's your work. And there's like no denying it. There's also a sense of frustration or anger that I get from you when this does happen. Because it's almost like reminiscing or thinking back, like as healing as it is, maybe you start to remember like, hey, they did do that or that did happen. So you're seeing clearly now, maybe some of you are seeing clearly that you deserve more. Something's being revealed to you as to something that kept you in like lack or poverty or in some kind of the, the tough, that tough spot that you could be going through. You could be going through that five of pentacles right now, some kind of hardship. And because of that hardship, you're seeing things clearly now. I see you guys kind of like surrendering to certain things and acknowledging others. And there is a feeling here of not moving forward with these people or this thing or this person. I say this thing because it could be a job, right? And that could be like coworkers. We're, we're, not, we're not moving forward. Maybe you're seeing like the red flags as well in people or in the things now that you took this time apart or this time to yourself, you're starting to realize who you want to let back in and who you don't. I do think that this time was very um, good for you. It doesn't feel like you're blocked. It just feels like you're going through a reset of some sort. What's to come for my group number twos, please? So this could have been like friends. Yeah, this was, so you guys could have, you guys are going to be thinking and that's what's going to bring you clarity is you're going to be thinking back to things that happened in the past you're going to be remembering things that you forgot happened and now when you think back to these events you're going to see them for what they are you didn't see it back then this literally could be about anyone or anything you're having who whatever you're taking a break from right now it's going to serve its purpose in the way that you are going to gain clarity and it's almost like maybe you had to weed things or people out of your life. And again, it's like now you're ready to reintroduce, you know, or if you even want to. Now you're realizing who is meant to be with you in your life and who isn't. I definitely feel like there's some people that are going to be left behind and it feels like they're definitely highlighted for you. These are people or situations that you're not willing to kind of uh, give another chance to and or you don't want to like revive it. And you're ready for something new. Yeah, you guys are a lot more carefree. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Fool, the Sun, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is what you needed. You needed this cleanse. Even if you had to like shake yourself like upside down and make sure there's nothing in your pockets. There's nothing anywhere. Everything's shaken out, right? In the form of people or things that you were doing, that you were contributing to. And now you've kind of found your peace. Your peace had to come at a distance, I will say. So this is what's to come for you. It's, it's all going to, the math is going to math and it's going to make more sense, friends. And you're going to be like, damn, I knew I was right. <laughs> Even when I doubted, I knew I was right. My, 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 I will say your messages were pretty, um, I feel like they were pretty broad, but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if that made sense. You'll have to let me know. There could have been some like last straw that made you guys kind of go into this four of swords mode of taking a break. Let's get some oracle cards for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. What can we tell them? Why are things not moving forward? Why are they feeling blocked? So energy doesn't lie. I just heard that. If there's th certain things or people that made you physically react, and as I say that, we have pain, death, and caution. Um, it's for a reason. I'm getting like physical ailments here. Anxiety, like <laughs> the IBS babies, um, you know, all of the things. Even if you're, I don't know, some of you guys might react by having a temperature change and maybe you start to sweat or something like that. There's some kind of physical reaction, and that was your nervous system kind of telling you, your intuition as well. I believe you got intuition. Yeah, you, or no, you got faith. We're going to throw intuition into the mix, though. 
Um, Cause I feel like that's what kind of caused you to take this break. And even if it was a tower moment that caused the break, it's what needed to happen. So we have comfort, consciousness, and faith. So this is meant to expand you. Look at the colors of these cards as well. Like these are the harder transits, right? There's people around you that you needed to be more cautious of for situations that weren't good for you. Um, and then this is what you're moving into. Comfort, consciousness, and faith. You're learning to lean in. You're learning to trust more. And maybe you're focused more on your comfort. And that's that energy that we got at the end, that fool, the uh, sun card, and the ten of swords in reverse. That's what you're falling into. It's more comfortable to not have you in my life is the vibes. All right, let's get you, <laughs> let's get you an affirmation card from this cute little deck. Let's get another one. I got this at Shop Nice. Oh, no, Shop Nice. Be Nice, Have Fun. Yeah, it's called Shop Be Nice, Have Fun. They're these little me and me affirmation cards. They're really cute. It's a tiny little deck. It's like 30 cards. Yeah, it was 30 cards in there. Um, and they come in a little fancy box. Look how cute they are. All right, we have Love. We have number 24, Affirmation. I am worthy of love. Reminder, I can accept others' love while trying to accept my own love. Practice. I love you. Say it to yourself. Say it to your friend, pet, or partner. You and those around you need to hear these three words today. Well, lucky for my pet turtle because I tell her every day. I hope you guys tell your pets you love them too. I'm sure you do. All right, we have it's okay to not be okay. And there's a cat here. So some of you guys have a cat. We have number 28, affirmation. Repeat, it's okay to not be okay. Reminder. I don't need to always be emotionally available. Practice. Give yourself a hug and remind your body that your feelings are valid during the high and low times. I just realized too that you guys got the antisocial gremlin. So you guys are being antisocial right now, but it seems like that's what your little soul needed, my group number twos. Um, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated, but more than anything, I hope it was helpful, friends. I um, send you guys so much love and so many blessings. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we are going to be looking into why are things not moving forward right now? Um, you know, this could really be open-ended about anything in your life, anywhere that you feel stuck. Um, you know, we will be talking about it in different ways. If it's a relationship or a job situation, it could really be about anything. This is for those of you that are currently feeling stagnant in your situation. Uh, we want to get you messages today to help bring you clarity, um, help bring confirmation as to what you already feel is happening. Um, you know, things to also kind of um, maybe bring you some hope as well as to when things will start moving again or, um, you know, what's to come. We are going to be looking into that. So, you know, it's a collective reading on YouTube. You know that if something doesn't feel right, if it's confusing you, um, or if I'm triggering you in some way, you know, those are all signs that it's not your reading friends and that's totally fine. We are going to begin your reading by looking into how you are feeling blocked, you know, in your situation and that'll help you connect to this read. If it is your story, you should be able to kind of pick up on your energy in that part of the reading. And then we'll move into why are things currently blocked and not moving forward and what you need to know about that. And then we will be asking the question, what's to come? What's to come of your situation? So friends, um, if anything, you know, I just want you to, to feel um, confident and empowered walking away from this reading. And if anything, hopefully you feel like, you know, we held space for you here on the channel while you're visiting. All right, my group number threes, let's get to it. Let's see um, what comes through for you today. All right, thank you for joining me, friends. And let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please, Spirit, how are they feeling blocked? How are my group number threes feeling blocked? What is blocking them? In what way are they feeling blocked? What can you tell us? Confirmation for my group number threes, if this is their reading, how are they feeling blocked? What is it? What is it that they're feeling blocked in? What area or what's going on? How do they feel blocked? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on with my group number threes? How do they feel blocked? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. 
How are they feeling blocked? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. How are they feeling blocked? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Well, interesting. We have the world. We have the two of pentacles. We have the eight of wands. So your energy seems like it is in motion. Like things have happened. Something happened. With that tower card, we have the ten of swords in reverse. Healing. We have the pain, the pain of coins, the page of coins. Just saying that I said pain of coins. Why the world card? How are my group number three is feeling blocked? How are they feeling blocked? Thank you, Spirit. So you feel like you had an ending and now it's like, now what? There isn't really, maybe there isn't a plan even. Maybe you don't even know what is happening. You're like, what is next? Why do things not feel like they're moving forward? Ten of coins. Some of you could be feeling a little up and down or back and forth about your money, your home, your finances, your family dynamic, perhaps, or a long-term relationship. There seems to be some up and downs that you're kind of dealing with in that area. Why this, the eight of wands. Three of Cups, why the tower? Two of Cups. This is a relationship. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse? Y'all, this is a relationship. If it's not a relationship, this is your dream job. Babe, you're not blocked. You're just, um, you got a blindfold on right now. You can't see. And that's okay. Because we be doing that. I don't know what is happening <laughs> currently in your day-to-day. -day. But energetically, I feel like things are actually moving. And they're moving pretty rapidly. And I don't think you see that. I think right now you're in the dark. But you're going to have a... Like that. One day you're going to wake up. And that's the last morning that you're going to be feeling that way. Because things are going to turn around that day for the better. You're going to um, meet your soulmate. You're going to connect with your soulmate. You're going to get that dream job. You're going to um, have that thing that was keeping you from feeling like you were complete or like you were in alignment. It's very beautiful, friends. And it's very powerful. You've... Some of you might, I'm not a medical professional, some of you might suffer from even maybe a mild form of depression. Again, I'm not, I'm just some little lady that you found on the internet reading cards, so I don't touch on health things, but some of you could have been dealing with some kind of issue like that, um, especially when things don't feel like they're moving, especially when you feel stagnant and you don't know what's next. So if that is the case, just know that that is definitely passing, friends. For those of you that read tarot and you're kind of wondering where I got the energy of not feeling the great, greatest or feeling a little depressed, for some reason they brought my attention to the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups, meaning the Five of Cups. I feel like that's where we started and now we're moving into this. Some of you guys asked me questions later and I just wanted to clear that up because I've never mathed the math that way, but when they point things out to me and they have me see things in a different way, um, I go with it. All right. What else, please? How are my group number three is feeling blocked? Why the world and the knight of points in reverse? You're not trusting yourself. You guys um, may be having um, a moment where you're doubting your heart or doubting, um, yeah, nine of cups. You're doubting that your dreams can come true. You're doubting where your heart pulled you to and the direction that it pulled you to. Because things have been stagnant for maybe so long. They're saying that some of you closed a big ass chapter though. So it wasn't going to be like it was all going to be all good and gravy, you know, the next day or a few weeks or maybe even a few months. And for some of you, maybe it's even been a few years. It just depends on how big that chapter was. 
But yeah, you guys might be doubting your intuition. All right, why the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Coins? It could be because things have been, like I said, like touch and go, or maybe the money's been up and down, or something's been back and forth. Why the Two of Coins with the Ten of Coins? Seven of Cups in reverse. You guys are already seeing some of your um, fruits of your labor coming, like becoming reality. And every time you hit these ups and downs, it's like you're learning something new or you're seeing something for what it is. You guys, I am getting here that there is some kind of reunion for some of you. This could be, if it's not romantic, you guys could have um, friends, some kind of new best friend or reconnecting with someone. It does feel soul family. It does feel soulmate. So for some of you, this is, in the form of friendship for others of you it's in the form of homie lover friend we have scorpio energy we have all water signs especially um scorpio and um pisces why the tower with the two of cups please What is that? Wow. Oh, shit. So you guys, part of your frustration right now is that you're anticipating or, or you're waiting or I don't know. I don't want to say you're waiting, but you do have some level of awareness and you have become frustrated or impatient and waiting for this to happen. Now, this also feels like someone I just heard fools rush in. It feels like someone's going to rush in and take this leap. And there is a lot of healing that happens with this. Now, some of you, this is meeting a brand new person. Like you were not, you were not, whatever this is, you were not planning on this new beginning. Like I said, it could be a new bestie. A new person, a new job. It's a new beginning that was having you feeling frustrated for a while. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Five of Pentacles? Your money is going to increase. Your money is increasing. That's a side note and that's a fact. Claim it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments that you're claiming that energy. Let me comment on myself. We have the Knight of Swords, Six of Swords, and Five of Wands. So someone's rushing in. Someone's creating action or someone's doing something about this and it like relieves this pressure. There's quick movement. You were feeling like things weren't moving for a while. And when they're going to go, they're like, it's like zero to a hundred. Now, whoever or whatever this is helps you get over things or head in a better direction. So this could be a friend that you're connecting with and you're learning a lot from. And there's a lot of growth and expansion here. If this is um, a soulmate in the form of a lover or a, you know, a romantic partner, this is, we're getting to know each other better and we're not guarded. It's like some of those walls or some of those blocks that were there before. It's like, they're not there anymore. We're approaching this from, it's almost like a humbling experience. So if this is work, this even feels like you're learning something new at work or you're learning something that's going to make you more money later. It's like, whatever it is, this investment or this thing, it's meant for growth. It's not going to just sit there and be stagnant. It's going to help you move forward. So I want to see why we got the five of wands. Thank you, spirit. Why the five of wands? The moon. So that could be how you're feeling now. You could fear uh, like that something's not going to turn out in your favor, or maybe there's like jealousy. Maybe you're, you know, I just heard God, I see what you do for others. That could be how you're feeling right now. Cause you're like, where's mine? I've waited or, you know, you're starting to become fearful and that's doubting. That's that doubt I picked up on earlier. All right. We have Aries showing up to the mix as well as Sagittarius. We have all kinds of signs. Look at all these beautiful cups you guys got. Surprised you guys didn't get a 10 of cups. Right when I said all these beautiful cups, so random. It made me think of, made me think of Hawaii. <laughs> And I'm looking how my brain works because it made me think of um, 50 First Dates. Maybe someone just saw that where they're in the cafe and the guy that works at the cafe, he's like, hey, peanut butter cups. 
Someone here likes peanut butter cups. All right. Maybe someone has an uncle in Hawaii. Auntie and uncle. I love that. I love their culture. All right. Let's begin. Let's see. Why are things currently blocked? Why are they not moving forward? And what do you need to know about that? Even though I feel like they might be in motion, my friends. Messages for my group number threes, please. Why are things blocked and not moving forward at this moment in time? What do my group number threes need to know? What do they need to know about why things are blocked? What do they need to know? Why are they not moving forward? What does my group number threes need to know about why things are feeling blocked and like they're not moving forward? <laughs> the King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Why do... Or why are things blocked and not moving forward? What what do my group number threes need to know? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit, that you're doubting yourself. We have three of wands in reverse. We have the high priestess. You're doubting that um, nothing's going to come of this situation or that you've been um, waiting for too long or something is too far removed. Um, some of you, yeah, you're definitely doubting your intuition. We have the seven of wands in reverse. Why are things feeling blocked? What do they need to know? Why are things blocked? What do my group number threes need to know? What do my group number threes need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Why are things currently blocked and why are they not moving forward? Ooh. What was that? What is this? I'll put that there. It's like you're not speaking to someone or you're just, I don't know, there's some, there's some distance that you're keeping here and it feels so like cold and closed off. And it's like you're meant to kind of be on your own right now and you're kind of meant to like go through some things on your own and work through them on your own. You're meant to realize things about yourself. This whole like not trusting yourself or getting kind of swept away in the what is right now instead of staying grounded like for some of you. There's something there about that, like you realizing that or you, you kind of viewing things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, you allowing yourself this inner knowing you, you are all knowing friends like you, I feel like you're really in tune, but there's something about this that it's kind of messing with your head and it's not letting you kind of relax into it. This isn't something that you have to like fight for or like, you know, bend for. It's almost something you're meant to relax into because I feel like the work is being done outside of just you, meaning there's other things that are aligning for you. And for now, all you can do is just stand on your own, like 10 toes, 10 toes down, right? We have page of coins with that emperor in reverse. Someone's working or learning a skill that can help them um, move up. Someone's also growing up as well. If it's a romantic person, it's like there was some growing up that needed to happen. We have the world card, that ending with that seven of coins. Why the king of cups, please? It's like there's something here that you really want to work on or, or be involved with or be a part of, or you want someone to be a part of it with you. But right now, someone's having to be wise about how they're investing their time, money, and energy in their life. Because it's almost like someone's starting over to some degree. And right now, it's necessary for us to remain single or independent or on our own in order to work on ourselves, especially if this is another person. It's like you guys both have work to do. And yours might just be staying grounded and being in tune with your intuition. Learning whatever there is to learn about the situation that you're currently going through. Now, I get that there is a lack of communication or there's like no communication happening. That also feels like why things are blocked. It's because we're not talking about them or we're not talking to the specific person or we're not getting the right information that we need. Why the emperor in reverse? Someone here, so someone here is being 
they view it as they're doing the smart thing. They're doing the practical thing and they're being real about that. And it's like someone here has to realize what it is that they have to do in order to bring more opportunity and growth here. And if this is someone you're dealing with, it's like they are the ones that are coming to that conclusion. But they're also very set on what it is that they need to be doing right now. So if this means that they are not around and they're focusing on other areas of their life, it's because they're not in a place to give to this or to you, if it's regarding another person. Now, if this is regarding work, this feels like you're kind of viewing things differently about how to go about your work. This could be some of you are learning a new, a new trade or a new something that kind of um, adds to your toolbox and can grow later. It can make you more money later, right? It's like, I don't know, in whatever industry you work in, it's like maybe there's some kind of update or there's a new way to do things or there's some new technology. Like some of you guys could be doing that. And that's gonna, that's putting your mind over like what's currently going on and like doing something about it. Either way though, someone here is figuring out um, their priorities, they're refiguring out priorities and they're following their heart. What else, please? Or the three of wands with the queen of swords in reverse. The hierophant. Huh. So there's something here that it's like you either want to work your way towards, or maybe some of you are like trying to work through this in therapy with that hierophant that could be therapy, but it feels like you're, you're kind of thinking back to something. What is it that you want? And it feels like at this time, you're also kind of recognizing patterns as well. Or there's some kind of pattern that you do. Maybe you guys like retreat. I just realized that we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. All right. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Why are they feeling blocked? Why are things not moving forward? It's like, I'm not, I mean, maybe this makes sense to you guys, but I'm not really seeing like what exactly is blocking you. It almost feels like this is some kind of journey that you're on right now and you're learning along the way, even though it doesn't seem like it, you are. This says that you're gaining wisdom during this time. And maybe you're doubting and maybe this is reminding you of times in the past that you've doubted yourself. And that's that repeating pattern. I am feeling like two energies in the reading, but it makes sense. You never know who's listening. All right, anything else, please? Why are things blocked right now? Eight of coins, someone's working hard. Someone's working um, on something and they're focused on their goals. There, there's definitely, there's an energy of someone's focused on making more money or on advancing in their career. And someone's thinking of how to do that. And like I said, for some of you that may feel like taking a half a step back to take three steps forward at some point. All right. Well, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's see what's to come in your situation. My group number three is you guys will have to let me know if that makes sense. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I don't like it when I feel out of the loop <laughs> on the reads that I'm doing. <laughs> but sometimes it happens. Honestly, the messages, they're for you guys, not for me. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What's to come? Messages for my group number three. So what's to come in their situation? Thank you, Spirit. What's to come for my group number threes, please? Thank you, Spirit. What's to come for my group number threes? What do they need to know about what's to come? Thank you, Spirit. You guys aren't meant to know 
a lot in, of what's going on right now. You guys are meant to tune into it in, on your own, with your own intuition. I, I am saying that's, yeah, I'm having blind spots in your reading for a reason. Um, we're not meant to know certain things of this glow up. Some things are going to be a surprise. It does feel like there's a pleasant surprise waiting for you around it. just any corner, any corner, guys. <laughs> any minute now. Messages from my group number threes. What's to come, please? What's to come? Thank you. We have justice. We have the emperor. Things coming back into balance. Someone's about to level up. We have six of cups. Someone had to move on or move forward from something from the past. We have judgment. We have a fool. Man, these cards are just saying hi to me when I open the deck. What's to come, please? What's to come for my group number threes? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Death in reverse. Yeah, this situation isn't over yet. There's a, there might be a timeout or there might be a minute of feeling stuck. But what did I tell you, babes? Like, literally, you guys can't see the angel wings flapping and how fast they're actually going around you is what it feels like when it comes to this. You're, you will be, your heart is going to be happy. Let's put it that way. Your heart is going to be content. That sounds like I said heart, huh? Um, with that justice and the queen of cups, there's going to be truth and balance brought back into the situation that you're going to be happy with. Why the emperor? The devil. Ooh, why'd the devil come through? Why the six of cups? What's to come? Thank you, spirit. A reconnecting someone's gonna okay if it's a person they're literally like obsessively they're like you thought i let you go no fucking way i didn't let you go you thought i did you thought i didn't have you in my peripheral look at the little side eye what in the jungle book oh my god the jungle book the song I want to walk like you, talk like you do, right? You see, it's true. This person hasn't forgotten about you. Or they, they it's, it's no wonder the energy doesn't feel like it's stagnant or stuck because the, the, the tie is very much there. Now, if this is not talking about a romantic person, you guys know I have to flip back and forth because it's going to be different for everybody. This just feels like where your heart has been, what you've been desiring, that position, that level at that company or the type of company, the type of boss or what you're dedicating yourself to. It's like it's coming together for you. And the funny thing is the judgment, I knew it all along. I knew it. Yeah, it's, it's easy to say I knew it after it happens, but you, it's not as comfortable to say I knew it. I know it's going to happen when you're in the dark and you're just in the dark right now. Why the fool, please? We have the four cups in the re reversed and why the death card in reversed, the page of cups. So what's to come? So if this is a, a romantic connection, I do feel like there is more balance in the future. And there's a reconnection that happens. It does feel like you guys, six of cups hermit in reverse. It does feel like you guys reconnect. This does feel like soulmate energy. I don't need to tell you guys if you guys watch tarot all the time. But you already know that. Now your person or this person is a little stubborn and they are a little obsessive. They don't express themselves very well emotionally, but they're very sweet to you. Or there's an energy here where you guys kind of vibe out. Like you guys bring this out in each other and it feels very carefree. It feels very almost like naive or you guys can be very playful together. And there's a feeling here that this happened after this four of cups. Maybe someone was rejecting this at one point or acting aloof. This person just, if it's a person, they just don't know how to like handle themselves. Now, if it's a job, this page of cups to me is you getting that offer. You not giving up and you getting that, that cup that you wanted. And it's a starting point. Whatever it is, it feels like you feel it's fair and it's balanced. Messages from my group number three is what's to come. 
messages for my groups number three is what's to come what can we know thank you spirit for some of you guys there could be something about aries season it could be as soon as aries why the devil with the emperor what can we know about that why the devil with the emperor oh my my someone might like someone's very excited with the page of wands someone works a lot too they like spend a lot of hours you know this is what it feels like so someone's coming to you very excited wanting something here wanting the same thing you do you guys are both vibing off each other that devil energy if it's romantic it's very lusty it's very sexual there's no going around that what else please can we get one more oh true love you guys coming together if it's not romantic, it's you coming into union with something that is meant for you at this moment in time. There it is. There she is. I was waiting for that. That Ace of Wands. All right. Someone's taking charge, taking the lead and coming towards you. They're also being like a little, uh, they're not like backing down. They're being assertive. So they're not coming in as like wishy-washy energy. Either way, babes, if this is just a solo ride for you or you and a soulmate, you guys are, you guys are vibing. You're having a good time. You're connecting. You're learning. I'm telling you, homie, lover, friend, or learning something here. It's going to help things move forward. I also see you guys like, um, if it's a person, it's like spending time together, even though it may not be the most consistent. I'm getting that it's because of scheduling or, or something like that. I feel like um, the time you guys spend together, you guys love that. Right now, you guys are like, no, I'm never going to feel better. Or this isn't going to, we can't reconcile, or I'm never going to find that job, or it's never going to feel right. I don't know. That's just part of that high priestess in reverse, that we're, we're doubting things, okay? Bitches, I told you since the beginning, I am not doubting any parts of your reading, because I feel like um, you're already, your energy's in motion. All right, messages for my group number three. Anything else, please? What's to come? Anything else? What's to come for them? Three of wands, four of wands. You guys might be going away somewhere. If not, within three months of watching this reading, you'll have something to celebrate or you'll have a milestone or you'll have um, some form of stability in the situation. You guys could level up as well. This could also mean landing a job that within a few months, you're already being promoted. You guys, like I said, no matter what it is, it feels like there's growth. It feels like it's good. More than anything, it seems like you're pretty content and happy in the situation. And what more can we ask for when we've survived all the way through 2024? Literally, do you guys realize that? It's such a freaking blessing to reach every birthday because um, the world is crazy out there. So whatever it is, babes, it's about to get better for you. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What else do they need to know about why things are feeling blocked? Your ideation, the way you think of this, friends, you got to trust. You got to trust and lean into that trust, okay? Um, comparison is the killer of joy as well. We have protection. We have ideation. You've been protected along the way. Um, things that you saw as rejection or the way that you thought things should have happened when you thought they should have happened. Um, you were actually being protected. You're also being rewarded for your determination that you've showed. We're going to put caution next to protection because you've been protected along the way. You may have seen it as setbacks. You may have seen it as feeling stuck and it actually wasn't. You're being protected or shielded from someone or something when they just weren't for you or weren't ready for you. We have peace, trust, and abundance. When you fall into this, um, into this place of trust, um, trusting yourself, trusting the process, you're going to feel a lot more peaceful. Your money is going to grow. Regardless if it's love or work, your money is going to grow. Because even if, you, if this is romantic and you end up with a soulmate, 
it's going to like, what's that word? Like re re reiterate or, you know, ripple out into your life in different areas. And it is going to bring you more abundance, um, more wealth, more health, all the good stuff. Um, all right. I'm going to be using these new little Oracle cards. Look how tiny the deck is. It's the cutest little deck. It's called Me Plus Me Affirmations. I got this at Shop Nice Be Fun in Highland Park, but I'm sure they sell it online. Um, it's a very simple little deck. I thought it was cute for us. I thought this was the perfect reading to bring it out. All right, let's get you guys a message from your higher self. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get a message from my group number threes from their higher self? What do they need to hear right now? I only meant to pull two but we got three. We have number 30. We have be kind to yourself. We have number 28. It's okay to not be okay. And we have number 24 love. It's interesting. I think love came out in all three groups and this one came out in another group. So I don't know if you guys have been hopping. We have number 30 affirmation. I am a good person. Reminder, I need to stop being my harshest critic. I am too hard on myself sometimes. Practice. Start using kind language to describe your wins and losses. Example, I did a great job at work today, or I made some mistakes today, but it was not the end of the world. And tomorrow I get to try again. Perspective friends. All right. It's okay to not be okay. Number 28 affirmation. Repeat. It's okay to not be okay. Reminder. I don't need to always be emotionally available. Practice. Give yourself a hug and remind your body that your feelings are valid during the high and low times. And then we have love. Number 24, affirmation. I am worthy of love. Reminder, I can accept others' love while trying to accept my own love. Practice. I love you. Say it to yourself. Say it to your friend, pet, or partner. You and those around you need to hear these three words today. I'm laughing because this has come out in every group and the other two groups also got the same thing where I told them, I tell, I tell my pet turtle every day that I love her. So I hope you guys are telling your pets you love them every day. I'm sure you do. Um, your familiars, my turtles, my familiar friends. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading, but more than anything, I hope it resonated and I hope it's helpful to your current situation. Um, you guys are going to be dealing with hindsight, not too like far from now. Um, it's all going to make sense. All right. No wonder your energy felt like it was already in motion. Um, I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. All right. My group number threes, thank you for joining me. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.